some of these passageways just for passageways. I hope we just keep on going and keep on going. This is a labyrinth style cave. So there are around three and a half miles of passageways. We have a lot of dead ends, but it's possible to go just about anywhere in here and go for a while. If you're interested, we do often four different levels of tours in here. The fourth level is a level uh, four advanced tour. It's basically five hours of climbing, crawling, walking. Okay, okay everyone. Welcome to the drapery room. Named for this formation. It's just called draperies, or if you prefer, curtains. Now this is formed by water that had once dripped from that crack, from that fracture in the ceiling. And as the water dripped down, it would then flow over this dome-shaped rock and form those thin sheets of calcite. And while you're in this room, squeeze in a little closer, look in between the strips, you'll see crossbars that look like alligator teeth. And those little formations are called helictites. They go whatever direction they want. While we're in here, a little bit more human history. A couple of you have probably already noticed this about the cave system. Now, the Homolkum, they abandoned the cave around 1450. Our cave was rediscovered much later on in 1879 by a man named Solomon Licht. He was a cattle rancher and a hotel owner. And when he discovered our cave, he seen it as a way to make money off his hotel. So you'd have people spend the night at the hotel about a mile down the road. In the morning, he'd encourage all his guests to come to this cave and while they were in here to collect souvenirs. That's why whenever you look up, those little stalactites are all flattened at the end. Those are all knocked down by sledgehammers, chisels, and in some areas, they use shotguns. Probably not very smart. So it was just part of the protection. It was part of the ranch that we ran, or we just part of it. So. And then back then, the kids just, if you knew about them, they didn't really bring them in unless you found them. So that's where we go right now. Now, in 1922, all this vandalism stopped.